tuned to Video Caroline, the best TV over the seven seas. Hello and welcome to Two on Tuesday. Well, this isn't actually Two on Tuesday because it's now Wednesday. I've been having problems with various video editing and capturing programs under Windows 10. I'll be telling you about this a little bit later. But uh, here's an assemblage of some of the strange things I've managed to put together over this past week, despite all the problems I was having. Come on everybody, get on board. Get on board the Brotherhood train. Come on everybody, get on board. Get on board the Sisterhood train. Travelling through the sunshine and the rain. Gotta get this message into your brain. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, everybody. Now everybody sings this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, everybody. Meanwhile, I do this rap. Get on board. Don't be a fool. Don't fall for no divide and rule. Don't fall for all those racist lies. You gotta be cool. You gotta be wise. Just one thing. You gotta fraternize. You gotta reach out. Give a helping hand to everyone living throughout this land. Don't matter your colour, don't matter your creed, cause love is the harvest when love is the seed. The train's in the station, so don't be late. Leaving behind aggravation and hate. Don't carry no baggage, just get on board, cause the song is mightier than the sword. Come on, come on, come on, come on, everybody. Yeah, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, everybody. Yeah, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, everybody. When I recorded that, I'd only finished the first draft of the song, and I've been getting it together ever since. Hopefully it'll be all right on the night when I sing it at the Castle Pub on Friday night in Bradford. All being well, inshallah. Good afternoon, my name is Carl Dallas and this is the latest instalment of my vlog or vlog. I've been having terrible problems recording. You may have seen yesterday's rather weird video which I recorded by lashing up my iPad to my non-functional uh, laptop but in actual fact I've found a program and I'm going to tell you what it is called it's called Debut D -E -B -U -T, from NCH software that managed to get the uh, webcam on my laptop working so I'm here to tell you that is the answer if you're having uh, webcam problems which I was uh, don't lash up your iPad or whatever uh, there's all sorts of other possible solutions that I might have tried, but this one seems to work. So I'm uh, going. That's all I'm going to say today. Except uh, wish you a happy Sunday. I hope you are spiritually refreshed, even if you don't actually believe as I do in Jesus. So have a good holiday. Take it easy, and be good to yourself. Hamba Khali, go well. And you reply, Salah Khali, stay well. And I'm hoping to do just that today. God bless you. Bye. It was Oscar Wilde, wasn't it, who said that England and America are divided by a common language. But I think we're divided by some kind of time warp. Uh, they are, after all, New York is five hours back from uh, London and, uh, of course, the Pacific Coast is, is, is about 12 hours. Um, I'm thinking of this because I was watching the opening episode of House of Cards on Netflix uh, last night and I thought, how slow this is. Uh, this is the third season and each season has 13 episodes, that's 39 episodes. Now House of Cards of course was originally 
a British uh, series and that like House of Cards on Netflix has had three uh, series and each of those series had four episodes so the total story and it was a story it had a beginning a middle and an end uh, was 12 episodes whereas House of Cards by the time it's finished the American version uh, will have had 39 episodes and uh, it's going to be carrying on after that I expect uh, last night I, I mean let's face it the interesting is uh, Frank Underwood the uh, American politician who's become president of the United States uh, climbing on the backs of all the people he's uh, assaulted politically during and not only politically of course as um, he's climbed to the top but last episode was uh, he played very little part in it we had a bit of an argument between him and his wife about whether she should be uh, standing for ambassador to the uh, United Nations uh, because he, Frank felt that that would interfere with his plans he's got a, a new work pro, uh, work fair plan that he wants to push through Congress um, but uh, w uh, the writers don't seem to have decided what that work fair plan would be uh, certainly we weren't told last last night um, I'm, I'm not even sure that I'm going to be watching the rest of it. I've given up on fortitude. That just got so complicated and and, and uh, apart from Michael Gambon who is always a joy, whatever he's in, um, uh, it, no, no, it didn't, really didn't grab me. Um, and yet this is supposed to be the age, uh, you know, this is the age of the video game. Crash, bang, well, very fast. and. Uh, uh, why why are they doing why are they, why are these things so slow and it's not just the uh, uh, TV shows um, I, I, I've been reading a book on uh, the secrets of, of how to be successful on the internet um, by selling your whatever it is you're trying to sell and um, I thought well that'll that'll be useful it was free so I got, I got, I, I downloaded it, and started reading it. The beginning of it is uh, who I am and how I got where I'm going. So I thought, yeah, 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 okay, that's fine. I'll skip that because I don't. I want to get down to the guts of the stuff. <coughs> you see, excuse me. <coughs> um, the way, I mean, I'm not a great, very successful author. I have to confess. Uh, Perhaps it's because I was brought up in the days of newsprint rationing when, you know, a, a long article would be 800 words and you had to catch people's attention in the first paragraph. You know, who it was, what they did, when they did it and where they did it, who, what, when and where. And, uh, um, th but this book, uh, it was amazing. Uh, Yes, okay, it's interesting to know about you, please, sir. Um, that's the sort of thing that we would put at the, the end. And the acknowledgements and all that stuff. Um, but anyway, I skipped the first uh, two chapters, which were all, all... The first chapter was about him. The second chapter was about all the other people who had used his system and how successful they'd been. And then the next chapter was about why you need this book. Well that's why we got the book sir you know it's because we know we need it at least we we thought we needed it, needed it from the blurb and then ah now the chapter where he begins to give us the, the, the guts of what he's got to say but I'm still I'm, I'm still reading and I'm still waiting and I'm no wiser um, now let's go back to television um, uh, Yes, Wolf Hall. That you see, that's interesting. Wolf Hall uh, was was a a condensation of two very long books, two excellent books by Hilary Mantel. But Wolf Hall, the the, uh, 
TV series, um, I think it was six episodes, covered all two books and of course we've got another book to come. But um, I, I found Mark Rylance's performance wonderful. But one of the strange things about the uh, series compared with the book, books I should say, plural, is this man is a workaholic. That's one of the secrets of his success. We never saw him doing any work. It was all uh, gazing into space. Uh, I mean, I enjoyed the show, I have to say. Well, that's enough from me. I just want to introduce you to somebody that I should have known long ago because he's been going for a long time. Roy Blackman. I met him at the Talking Zebra event in Clackheaton and he performed a piece for, for us which I thought was wonderful. Uh, but here's another thing that he composed some years ago that uh, I've taken off his CD. I hope you enjoy it. Collapse of the Family Firm I work for this family firm, body, body, body and body. The four directors were everybody, anybody, somebody and nobody who were all sons of Billy Body, the founding body, the late body who was now a dead body. Everybody knew there were financial problems, but nobody knew where the money went. It was anybody's guess. The shop steward Peabody thought it should belong to everybody, and that upset somebody. You will never guess what this firm made. Bodies. Car bodies, bus bodies, fire engine bodies, tractor bodies, lorry bodies, red lorry bodies, yellow lorry bodies, there were red and yellow lorry bodies all over. Everybody's sons worked there, but they were all nobodies. Somebody's daughter thought she were somebody, but she was anybody's and everybody's, and there was absolutely nobody who hadn't been on the body with her, according to all the busybodies. The end came over a two-minute job that wasn't done. It cost the firm millions. Everybody knew it needed doing. Anybody could have done it. Somebody was off seat. Nobody bothered. Me, I wasn't going to do it. It's not my job. I'm just a bodyguard. Anyway, my name's not body. It's soul. Richard soul. I'm not the only arsehole on this firm, and I told everybody I'm not going to do anybody's job for nobody. Now everybody's out of work, and I'm hoping somebody will find me a job with anybody. Well, that's it from me. My name is Carl Dallas, and you've been watching Two on Tuesday, courtesy of Google Plus Hangouts on Air and YouTube. With any luck, inshallah, God willing, I'll be back here in a week's time. Till then, bye. I was your bride,